Hi guys and welcome back to another episode of Weather's Weekly Review uh, of of Everything Stocks FC. So let's start things off with Timicast. Timicast was still available for IPO uh, during his game on the weekend against Brentford and he ended up in a team with a weak slot. So he's ended up selling 6,000 shares, which is probably more than what we were expecting or is more than what he would have sold if he hadn't been performing in that game. Uh, he got an assist as well, or two before the uh, what was it called before the IPO closed. So he definitely would have sold a few more shares than what he would had he hadn't performed. Um, so yeah, he's got a three thousand eight hundred forty market cap. Uh, he might struggle in price a little bit because obviously whilst he was playing and people could see he's going to get into team of the week, some people may have changed their minds and bought into him when they didn't really want him. Um, but on the whole, you know, I think that's a fair supply for him, a fair sort of mark. Um, and I think he'll be good value for the, the next couple of weeks because obviously, you know, he plays for Greece and he'll be playing for Liverpool. Um, and... I think he's going to sort of hold that left back spot down. I know Gomez has been playing down there, um, or Liverpool have been shuffling players around, and he hadn't been getting to the team. But for me, he's a good attacking fullback, and I, I do see him playing for Liverpool whilst Robertson's out, and Robertson's out for like another two months. So I think you know, for me, I picked up thirty, and I was quite happy with that. I was very happy with the supply, to be honest, uh, especially seeing it was during a game, and you could see that he was going to get team of the week. It was a bit, you know, I thought his pl- supply might go a little bit higher um but to only get to six thousand odd quite happy with that to be fair moving on so we had jeffrey schlup now schlup only sold 2683 or 84 um for me i picked up 20 just because you know that's sort of my my strategy is just to pick up everyone very low supply player um don't be surprised if you're going to see sales well above that sort of ipo price um f- yeah sort of the supply you'd expect it's just quite a stinky player really you know he's, he, i think he's sort of a, a starter at palace now but he does seem like a player that's very replaceable you know he, i remember schlup being um a left wing back and a striker at different times on fifa now he's sort of playing center mid so he's sort of a uh, he can do it all but he's not really great at anything sort type of player um and for me if you know if you're at palace you know the palace directors and footballing side of things you sort of want to replace him and get an upgrade i think he's very upgradable um so yeah for me i just covered him just because i know it'd be low supply and you know i think it's i make a profit on him basically but i I don't think he's a great player in general so yeah but hopefully you know if, if he continues to be a starter with that low supply i'll be happy with the percentage i've got and then moving on to the last IPO from last week, which was Leno. Now, Leno, he sold maybe less than what people were expecting. I think people sort of thought he gets close to 10K. Um, it's obviously harder now for these IPOs to sell as much as maybe the early season ones because Leno doesn't have a chance at team the season, I'd say, without being... In, he isn't, obviously... He's coming onto the platform late, for one. And two, he doesn't have Europe. So you're going to get um, these next goalies that are like Leno to sell less because, you know, they're, they're not likely to win the team of the season prize. And they're like out of the race completely. Um, but in terms of like long term, I, I think that's pretty decent, you know. 7,000, maybe a few people, 7,000 supplies was what I was going on about there. Maybe... A few people are worried about Fulham getting relegated because they haven't started the season that great. And if they lose Palina in January, Fulham could struggle. They're not sort of as established as maybe a Brentford or a Palace. So, yeah, but that's decent sort of supply. Help um, top up the pots a little bit. The Royal pots have been going down, but, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully, we will see an increase in the reward pots this week as we do have slightly better players being IPO'd. So we have João Pedro uh, for 45 ETH, with three noughts, I'll just say it like that, 43 ETH for um, Almiron, and then Harry Maguire's down at 33. Uh, For me, this is a better bunch of players, uh, and I most like João Pedro in terms of just like a long-term hold. I think he's got the most potential out of these three players for career earnings, in a way, uh, if we're going to play that game. 
Um, yeah, but I, th- I think all of them are, are decent options to pick up. N- all of them should continue to start games. Xiao Pedro is a little bit rotation risk, but obviously he's got age on his side. Almiron starts with Newcastle, but you could see him being replaced at some point. With obviously with the the Saudi money and stuff, it, uh, you would say that that's one of the Newcastle's weakest, you know, league weakest links. Um, Almiron and Harry Maguire is currently back in the Manchester United team, starting games. Southgate loves him for England, so you know whatever happens next. Looks like he's going to continue to get games and probably going to nick a few team of the weeks as well coming up. Um, Because Internationals is absolutely massive on Stocks FC, especially with this limited player pool that we have at the moment. So don't be surprised to see Maguire pop up um, in a few team of the weeks. So um, let's do some predictions. I think João Pedro will get to about 10,000 maybe. Uh, He's got the potential, but because he's not a guaranteed starter, it won't go crazy, crazy. Um, so around about 10,000 would be where I'd expect him to sell. Um, Almiron could be anywhere, to be honest. It could be 5,000. It could go to, at that price point, maybe you could get to like seven. Um, anything below that, sort of fair value, I'd say. And then last off, Maguire. Maguire, I've got no clue. Because he has got the international appeal and he does play for Manchester United, who are in Europe and... I'd expect to get into the Europa League just about. Uh, looks like they're getting knocked out of the Champions League at the moment, but hope if they finish third, then they'll jump into the Europa League. And yeah, you can see Maguire doing quite well there and he'd have quite a few games. So it's a little bit of a, uh, a tricky one to predict. predict. Um, if people think he's genuinely shit, like there's sort of this overinflated um, negative bias towards Maguire, then, you know, we could see like 2,000 being sold. But I do think there'll be some smart people in there who will, you know, see that as a clear value buy at that price point. And he's always big. He's, you know, if he does get a transfer to a West Ham in the future or whoever, he's a big centre half. So he's going to score goals from set pieces throughout the seasons to come. Um, but yeah, that's the players. Let's look at the raw reports. They have taken a little bit of a beating recently. Um if I clicked on the right thing. So this is obviously after the weekly payout. So we're down to 45, uh, 47 ETH, sorry, for Team of the Week, which is now 76,000 and a half, basically. Uh, ETH dropped in price a little bit as well. Um, in play, down to 72. Monthly is up at 52, which is actually decent. I think that's higher than our first Team of the Week um, amount was. And... Team of the season is up at 24,000. So, yeah, that's everything, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. If you have, drop a like. Get in the comments. Tell me how I can improve and all that sort of stuff. But, yeah, cheers for watching, guys, and see ya.